Hey guys, Bing here. Today uh, we're going to model a shape like this, this one. Okay, so it's it's like a sh uh, shell. Yeah. So first, let's create a uh, a mass. So go to floor plan, and first we're going to draw a, a, a so this this will be made um, using a sweep. So first we need to uh, draw a path. So go floor plan, reference slide, draw on draw on level one. So uh, level uh, because this is a massing, so level one. So in a project that's pro uh, that's ground floor. So level one, I'll draw it from roughly in the middle, something like this. Okay, so this will be the path of the sweep. And then uh, let me do it in 3D view. So now we need two um, profiles. So one at this end, the one uh, at this end. So okay, so reference point, draw on face. So anywhere here and then you can draw on, draw on work plan set work plan pick the horizontal work plan of this point and place it on the point okay and then you can select this point move up so this you can have a parameter for this offset so um, let's just let's just make it so h h1 okay point one h1 p1 h1 so uh, type is fine and OK, OK. So now the next, create another. So still draw on work plan set. Pick, pick the horizontal work plan of the uh, second point and place it. And OK, so now select it. This is a third point. So now we have a offset. So this time create as create as a, a P.1, P1, H2. Okay, so so now we have two, one, two, three, three points. Now we need one point uh, uh, with a horizontal offset. So go back reference point, uh, draw work plan set, and tap pick the vertical. So this work plan. So okay, so tap pick and pick and place it on this point. Place it here. So okay. So now this time, click on this point, uh, move in, inside. So now we have an offset here. So let's create a um, P1 uh, height, horizontal height. Maybe just horizontal. There, they're all H. So H3. Let's call it H3. Okay. So okay. So now we have one. Maybe. Hang on. It will confusing high one, high two. Uh, off, offset two. Old, old, old. Right. Okay, let's let's just say ignore it. just one, two, three. Okay, so we only have three, three, three parameter for the um, profile one. Okay, so and then select one, two, three points. Spline, reference spline. So now this will be the fir, uh, the first profile, okay? So um, here I'm going to show you um, something you uh, not to do. Okay, so here I create this profile, and then if I select select this and copy and apply, copy, and then try I try to like. Uh, uh, pick new host, you will see uh, it won't work. So see the, these points are still linked to this point one if I move this, see? So what I need to do is uh, dissolve this spline and then with these all these four points just copy and then pick new host. So this time all, all these three points are linked to this, this one. Oops, this one, see? And this one. Okay, now we can create the spline. So the profile one, and then of course we uh, we need to change the offset. So so this will be uh, so P one H one. Let's create a P two P two H one. 
Okay, so okay, okay. So this one will be P two H two. Okay, okay. So this one will be P three H three. And now we select this one two three three point spline reference line and select this two profile and also this part and create a form so we can see that's a nice uh, face okay so now you can click on this point so and then uh, type in one so it go to this end and this one uh, i'm not sure if it will work but uh, let's try zero no so let's let's see why this is happening so drag this point so it's all still working see this i'll stop here it's all good and if i drag this point to a little bit further here still okay here okay here okay and uh, so now let's say why it's not working if i drag here and actually just uh, look look at this area okay so look look at this area so if i move this see the that point go back and uh, so go back and this is when uh it won't work so you can't have that you know like a uh, uh, rotate and let uh, go into itself so what we can do is so this one with this offset p2 um, h3 so we just need to p2 h3 maybe just make it smaller so this 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 way so it, so it won't go back into itself so now you can go right to the end so you can still um so this is this is it. So if I go to floor plan, you can all you can like move these points to adjust adjust uh, adjust the um, the shape of this. Oops, wrong one. So it's not this one. Let me temporary height H H. So this will be the point of the path. So you can you can still like uh, adjust the shape. So if you're happy with this part so we can we can do the um now we can do the the profile so for example p1 h1 um, because on this in this image so the middle one middle part is a bit higher and then okay let, let's do that so go middle one so p that's p2 p2 h1 maybe make it six meter would go up higher and uh, h2 another four meter whoops four meter what and then i'll lower this part so p h1 maybe two meter and another one two meter and I'll increase the ho uh, horizontal offset, maybe uh, six meter, maybe more nine meter. So yeah, so we can just adjust these parameters so to achieve what you want. So we go up a little bit. Uh, yeah, how, let's see how far I can go. Yeah. Um, offset a little bit. Three meter offset. So yeah, that's that's a that's a yeah, that's a nice shape actually. So yeah, that's it. That's that's it for today. Um, just uh, we have this shape, and uh, tomorrow we'll uh, have a look of the pattern. All these. Um, like this pattern and also some like uh, structure shape stuff so okay so that's it thank you for watching and uh, i'll see you tomorrow